In this video, we're going to talk about rational functions, and we're going to talk about a feature called horizontal asymptotes. Horizontal asymptotes represent the end behavior of the function. End behavior is what happens to the y coordinate as x approaches infinity and as x approaches negative infinity. You can see on this graph that the graph is approaching the line y equals 3, so this graph has a horizontal asymptote at y equals 3. This graph over here would have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 2. Now, unlike a vertical asymptote, which you cannot cross because it represents division by 0, horizontal asymptotes merely represent the end behavior of a function. So notice that in the middle, it's possible that the graph could cross the horizontal asymptote. A horizontal asymptote just tells you about what happens to the graph as it approaches positive infinity and negative infinity. So as x approaches infinity, y is approaching 2. As x approaches negative infinity, y is approaching 2. Now, not every graph will have a horizontal asymptote, not every rational function. This has no horizontal asymptote because you can see as x approaches infinity and negative infinity, the graph does not approach a horizontal line. In fact, this graph has something that we call a slant asymptote, which is another kind of end behavior that you can get in rational functions. In a future video, we will talk about how you find slant asymptotes. So because horizontal asymptotes have to deal with what happens as x approaches infinity, you want to think about plugging in numbers that are very large into x and think about what would happen to y. So there's going to be three cases. So let's take a look at this function right here. If I plugged in very large numbers for x, the plus 1 and the minus 3 wouldn't mean anything. So in this case, you're going to get just x squared over x mattering when I plug in very large numbers. Now in this case, this would simplify, if I ignore the 1 and the negative 3, to x. So if I plug in a very large number for x, this number is just going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So this graph would have no horizontal asymptote. Now that will always happen when the degree of the numerator is bigger than the degree of the denominator. So when the degree of the numerator is bigger than the degree of the denominator, there is no horizontal asymptote. In the second case, we're still going to think about this the same way. What if I plugged in large numbers for x? Well, this positive 1, this plus 1, and this plus 7 would not matter. If I simplified this, I'd get y equals negative 2. So that means that as I plug in very large number for x, these x's will cancel each other out, and what takes over is this negative 6 over 3, and in this case, that's y equals negative 2. So anytime you have a rational function where the degrees are the same, the horizontal asymptote is always going to be y equals the leading coefficient of the numerator divided by the leading coefficient of the denominator. So in this case, negative 6 over 3, which is y equals negative 2, which is the horizontal asymptote. And the third case would be if the degree of the denominator is bigger. Again, if the degree of the denominator is bigger, this 1 and negative 4 don't matter in terms of plugging in very large numbers for x. In this case, it would simplify, and you would see the denominator still has an x. So because the denominator had bigger degree, when I plug in very large numbers, you're going to get a very large number in the denominator. When you have a small numerator and a large den denominator, the number you're going to be close to is 0. So if the degree of the denominator is bigger than the degree of the numerator, you will always get a horizontal asymptote of y equals 0. So in summary, there's only three cases for a horizontal asymptote, and they all have to do with comparing the degree of the numerator to the degree of the denominator. If the degree of the numerator is bigger than the degree of the denominator, there is no horizontal asymptote. If the degree of the numerator matches the degree of the denominator, then you're going to divide the leading coefficients, and y equals that number is the, horizontal as is the horizontal asymptote. And the last case is, if the degree of the denominator is bigger than the degree of the numerator, then you will always get a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. That's a look at horizontal asymptotes.